friends, I'm smashing a couple of Cat Hands Mixed Media Morsels together. I fell in love with number 27, which was her crackle background. I'm <laughs> really liking that. I don't have crackle mediums, so what I did was I painted my tag with acrylic paint and then covered it with glue, and then while the glue was still wet, I covered it with uh, just some, some white acrylic. I did dry this with a heat tool, or with a hair dryer rather, and it, it works out really nicely, but my hair dryer crapped out and died. And this one I just put outside to dry and it took it, you know, maybe 30 minutes to dry. I think that's going to, that drying time is going to depend on where you are and what the weather is like. But while I was doing this, I really did admire Cat Hand's drawing of her Whimsy Birds on her um, mixed media morsel background. But here's the thing, I can't draw. I can draw really simple shapes. I can draw faces, but other than simple shapes and faces, I, I'm really not a strong drawer at all. This site is about doing what you can with what you have. <laughs> and my skills are not drawing. I, I, that's just not where my skills are. So I'm going to take you through what I do when I'm met with kind of a drawing challenge. The whimsy birds are so beautiful and I really did want to use them on one of these crackle backgrounds. I'm going to take you through what I did. I traced, um, you know, you can see right here, I traced a large circle and a small circle. The large circle is for the mama's body and the smaller circle is for the baby body. So I'm going to cut out my circles. This also reminded me of just the beauty of simple shapes. I did trace around my circles with a uh, with a, a sharpie marker which is kind of like one of my favorite things. Alright and I'm going to cut this one out. Oh, I need my glasses. Hold on. We'll cut this one out. This will be for the baby. I draw off the piece. So I don't draw on the piece. Now, one of the reasons that I didn't draw on this piece is because when this crackle thing is bumpy, right? So you can't really draw on it. I mean, I guess you could, but I think it would be a a pretty big challenge. I just used some painty papers and these are the strips for the legs. I did make them both the same size because I can always cut them off on the baby bird. So I'm cutting these. This is again the painty paper that my gosh, I mean, you can use it for everything in the whole wide world. It's incredible stuff. And I am out, so I need to make some more. All right, so we have the legs, and that's like a long rectangle, right? So you have circles, you have a long rectangle. I've already cut the, the wings for the birds. This is for the mama bird, because she's a little bit bigger. But that was a teardrop. Um, and then I cut out the tail feathers just as best I could. Uh, I hope that these fit. For the baby bird, I, I did do a little bit of a bend in the raindrop shape. But again, super, super simple shapes, and these are the mouths for the birds. So I'm going to put this together really quick and show you how it's done on the crackle background. I think that, that simple shapes are really powerful. Um, and, I mean, let's face it, I mean, we're not all of us are great drawers. Um, like I said, I can draw faces, but um, that took, geez, you know, a really, really, really long time before I could draw a face. And I'm going by the, the little pattern that I already have made here. And I think that'll be pretty. 
I love Cat Hands Mixed Media Morsels. They're simple. They're a delight to do because they're not so complex that you get kind of stuck in it and don't know what's next. I did also use a text stamp on my painty paper to give the to give the the whimsy birds a little bit of a text thing going on there. Um, I should probably get her legs on her before she dries. You do have to let your your background dry a bit. Um, and boy, I mean, look what I did. I almost let it let it dry too much. Okay, now the legs are going in. Mm -mm. There we go. But if you're met, you know, with the challenge of just not being able to draw, then you can always kind of work around it. You can, you know, you can trace an object. And tracing is a great way to learn how to draw. And, you know, I'm reminded of the you know, the, the masters and how apprentices would simply copy a painting master's work. And that would teach the apprentice, you know, about drawing. All right, let's stick the baby bird down. Oh, she's already stuck down. Okay, I slipped up here. We forgot the legs. Forgot her legs. I'm going to have to cut these off. But you can see how doing things off the piece kind of, I mean, it, it does sort of help. I'm going to go ahead and put the baby's tail feathers down here too. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and cut these off. Here we go. Okay. Now, we should have put Mama's on too. Yikes, y'all. <laughs> not doing this very well. I'm sorry. I just really wanted to give you an encouraging word about, um, about not being discouraged, about not being able to draw. I like to construct. I like to put things together. All right, now we've got Mama's little feather here. We can put her down. There we go. There you go, Mama. Right, and the baby's little feather here. Just like that. And remember, those were kind of our simple, like little raindrop shapes. And now triangles, of course, for the mouth. Mia's outside and she's been catching Katie dids. So I'm trying to watch her, make sure she doesn't gorge on on Katie <laughs> Katie dids. Poor little Katie dids. Okay. Put the mouth for the mama here. Okay. And the baby bird's mouth here. I'll cut this teeny tiny thing out. Okay. I also think that these these uh, this crackle background, this cat hand crackle background, would be so cool as a background for her torn paper flowers. I think that would look really sweet too. So I might try one of those. I do have another this background that I dried outside. Okie dokie. There we go. Now, I'm going to let this dry for a minute before I even attempt to put the eyeballs on. So, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and we have our little birdies all done. Mommy has no feet. Mm. Gosh, okay. Let's give Mommy some feet. There we go. There we go. <laughs> she looks cute. Alright, so don't let not being able to draw discourage you. Just remember to use simple shapes and you can always construct off of the piece, which is the way that I do things. Up here I've got a whole a whole nother little bird to put on my my crackle background right here. 
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that you will come back and see me. If you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, y'all. Bye.